Here with a brand new minute, it's Hans Kim, everyone. Here we go. Hans Kim. What's up, guys? Good to be here. I, uh, I think a lot of white women don't want to date Asian men because they're insecure about how we're better women than they are. <laughs> I got less confidence than you. Uh, I'm better at being interrupted, better at being told what to do, and... <laughs> I'm smoother than you. And I got a thinner waist. <laughs> Very small man. Uh, a lot of the whites that I know commit a lot of microaggressions against me, which I find very hurtful. Uh, this one white was like, uh, you know, you got a very Asian smile. I was like, thanks. Now I get to think about how I'm physically different from everyone around me. Every time I feel happiness. My friend uh, says a lot of dumb stuff. My friend was like, dude, America is so divided right now. And I was like, actually, we're very united. And if you say that again, I'll shoot you in the face. Thank you, guys. A new minute by the great Hans Kim. Thank you. Every single week, just out here doing it, making it look easy. Hard thing to do, a new minute every single week in front of the whole internet. Yeah, I'd like everyone to know that I'm very good at this. <laughs> you really are. At one point, you mentioned uh, that Asians are good at being told what to do. Is that true? <laughs> Take one step back for me, one step back. Yeah, it is. Okay, perfect. Take a step forward. Awesome. I didn't know that was an Asian stereotype. I mean, how else do you have a billion Chinese people in China? We gotta be organized, you know? We got a headmaster who tells us what to do. <laughs> We're like little worker ants. We don't think for ourselves. <laughs> he said it, not us. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to say about that. I I disagree. What about your theory of Vietnam? About 10 countries have tried to conquer them. I don't think they follow people's orders. <laughs> or the Japanese, they weren't too good at following orders. At least the rulers weren't. We, d we only take orders from other Asians. Okay. There you go. Very obedient. Yes, master. Yes. You know? Well, I think that goes back to a lot of feudal states. It was the same in Europe till the Renaissance 500 years ago. They'd chop your head off if you, if you didn't bow down to the lords. So I think people are the same everywhere. That's why we got America to tell the world, bullshit, we're all fucking free. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. God damn it. Oh, I love it. Ah! A rip off Sam Cadison. Ah! Ah! Oh, Hans. <laughs> You famously on this show every week, you've been making out with girls uh, left and right. This has become a new trademark of you. A lot of people hate it on the internet. A lot of people love it. I actually posted uh, something this week with a bunch of pictures of you making out with different girls on this show. And I was surprised at how many people... Uh, felt like it seemed negative about it. A lot of people saying <laughs> herpes and HPV yeah. and fucking... Super spreader. Yeah, everybody's like... <laughs> all these people on the internet are like afraid to get sick or something like that. We're Not here in Texas. We don't play that shit. We already have all the... That's STDs. how you get you know sick is living in a bubble. That's what the real science shows. That's true. Thank you, Alex Jones. That's absolutely true. That's absolutely true. That's the sound of us being demonetized off YouTube uh, this episode, everybody. <laughs> That's right. We should all live in a bubble and do whatever Fauci says. <laughs> bing, 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 bing. Dollar signs. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> but Hans, you haven't gotten sick or anything from any of these kisses, right? If anything, no. you love it. They heal you, right? Yeah. We're transmitting the disease of love. Yeah. Red rose, yellow rose, come on down. <laughs> They actually, uh, they have been. Last week there was a, a hot dog eating contest. <laughs> <laughs> many, many dogs. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know what that means, but uh, it seems hilarious right there at that point. No sexual connotations. <laughs> I love it. But he's Asian, so it's a Vienna sausage. <laughs> oh, now we're being politically correct. The Tootsie Roll. <laughs> hey, I have the largest, I have a micro penis, so I can make the joke. 
<laughs> it's the largest micro penis in North America, though. Asian below Girls the waist. Go, oh, they go, wow. Like those little balloons, you know. Is that, how, is that what your dick's like? Show us your. I'm just joking. All right. Uh, <laughs> so, Hans. I'm black from the waist down. <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. Hans, uh, how do you feel about this making out with different girls thing every week? Let's, let's really just find out from you how you feel about it. I feel like it's a great tradition. And. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? Let me ask you this. Do you prefer, because sometimes it's, it's normal, homegrown Texas girls that come up and make out with you, and sometimes, like Alex said, it's the strippers from the Yellow Rose and the Red Rose. Do you have a preference? Do you have a preference to natural or uh, whatever that is up there? I mean, we, di we did find out that he's kissed like the same girl three, three weeks in a row. Maybe Stormy yeah. is very beautiful. Um, I love... <laughs> I love the organic, homegrown, you know, like Whole Foods, but I also love like F1, you know, Formula One racing, fucking Ferraris and <laughs> Mustangs. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Takes all different types. Holy so, you know Gilligan's Island. Do you like Ginger or Marianne? Marianne? Is that a. Yeah. yeah. I like Marianne personally myself as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love it. Uh, are there any ladies in the audience that want to come up and make out with Hans Kim tonight? <laughs> is there anyone that wants to do it? He's a young Asian comedian living his dreams. If there is, great. If not, great. It doesn't really matter. Come on, it's up come to on, you. come on, come on. It's up to you. Uh, well, let's true. talk a little more action. Every si oh, look at this one. All right. Oh, Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Holy shit. This is incredible. We've seen this before. And she ain't bad looking. Let's see how it goes for Hans. This better be a real makeout session now. Whoa! Wow, look at him go. Ooh, there seems. Hold on a second. You stay over there. There se seems like there's real love in the air over here. I've never seen Hans. Look at this little boy. Look at how excited you are. Hans, can you even speak right now? I think she has a thinner waist than me. <laughs> thinner? Oh, she's ready to go. Did you say thinner? Like a chicken, wow, wow. Did you say thinner? Yeah. Okay. What is, most girls? What is? Most girls have a bigger waist than you. Most girls on Tinder that I can get. Oh, I gotcha. I got it. Uh, young lady, what's your name? Hannah. Hannah. Oh. Halen. Hannah. 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 Benny. Hannah. Hannah. Hannah, yeah. is this your first time making out with an Asian boy? Actually, it is. How did wow. it feel? How did it make you feel? It was really good. I've always liked Asian boys, but they've never liked me. I thought it was the other way around. They just don't date white women. Hell yeah. Oh. Well, right now, there's three hard nips on this stage. So, <laughs> Hans, what do you think? Is there a chance you want to go out with this girl? Would you go out on a date with Hans Kim? Yeah, I would. Wow. wow. Now, did you know about this part of the show? Were you like a fan of the show? I did. I did know. And you were looking forward to this? Did you come with like a boyfriend or something? No, tonight? she came with her sisters. Did you come to bag bag him tonight? Um, obviously, <laughs> that's what I'm doing up here. Right. What'd you say? Bang bang? Bag him. Pick him up. Take him out over her shoulder. Uh. You know, like a jaguar. <laughs> <laughs> We are not letting Alex touch the soundboard tonight. Gay frogs, gay frogs. <laughs> all right, gay all frogs right. In here. Put it away, put it away. Put it away. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Not the rooster. Oh. Getting hungry. <laughs> Hans Kim. This is more fun than when I'm drunk. I'm usually here drunk. Yeah. 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 Alex Jones is sober right now. First oh. time in 25 years. Alex Jones, making it happen. All right, so uh, Hans, I feel good about it. You did another new minute. You made out with a, uh, with a rant. How do you feel about this girl? I feel like she's very beautiful, and I'd be privileged to spend some time with her. All right. That's it. This is it. This is the autistic dating game with Hans <laughs> Kim, everybody. How about one more time for Hans Kim, everyone? There he yeah. goes. There goes the great Hannah. Is it Hannah? Yeah, give it up for Hannah. There goes Hannah. 
What's up, guys? I used to. Oh, I have to. I used to have sex. Hey, that's just like me having sex. It goes in. Uh, I used to have sex with this girl who was really into yoga and choke sex. I was like, do you enjoy breathing or not? Make up your mind, you millennial. Uh, I don't understand sober people. You just, you're just gonna rely on your day to make you happy. <laughs> Jesus Christ, take some control back in your life. <laughs> just be the mood of the economy. But uh, I was talking to this drug addict and he was like, dude, you have no idea what it's like to have been a drug addict. I was like, I know. If only you guys would write books or movies or TV shows or <laughs> paint paintings or sing songs or... Talk about it too much at parties. <laughs> Thank you, guys. That's another new minute by Hans Kim, making it look easy. Starting the show with real jokes. Still got it, my friend. The good thing about Asian comedy is you're still hungry for more afterwards. You son of a bitch. How dare you? I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> How's life going, Hans? What you been up to? Amazing. Uh, <laughs> I, I have girls DMing me. Uh, still getting used to that. Um, I went camping recently with a date that I met off Kill Tony. Oh, very nice. Kyle yeah. and Kurt might not know this. So uh, Hans was made a regular on the show, and I've made it my life's mission to make his life as amazing as humanly possible. I bet. And uh, so I literally have, like, beautiful women make out with them every week on the show. I saw one of those clips. That's awesome. Thank you. Yo. Look at that. See, that's... It's coming this is there. what I'm talking about. The buzz is people, out, my friend. Yeah. People don't know the work you're putting in to make up for that whole Asian thing from before. That's right. <laughs> yes. Have no Absolutely. Idea. That's exactly what's happening. I want everyone to know this is yeah. how Asians get treated on my show. <laughs> I roll out the fucking red carpet and just have beautiful strippers come up and make out with Hans. This is what could happen if you, uh, if you write and perform. And I, it's only rewards. He never does bad on the show. If there was ever a week where he did bad on this show, there wouldn't He'd be pull up, yeah. hot chicks <laughs> oh, making shit. out with them. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> you uh, love it. So I, I went camping. Yeah, uh, you, tell went us camping about this camping this trip. And then uh, I almost drowned in the river and my date had to come rescue me. So wow. I felt a little effeminate, but happy to be rescued. How did, you, how did you almost drown? What happened? So our raft got punctured, and I tied it around my waist, and I was swimming, and then my oh goggles my kept what, fogging How'd you up. puncture the raft? I think, didn't the country of China ban feminine men like you? <laughs> <laughs> men that can't pull a raft. What happened to the raft? Your needle dick prick it? <laughs> oh, just come kidding. on, man. I'm kidding, Whoa, I'm kidding. Dude. Everyone knows Asians Both have kidding. huge cocks. <laughs> <laughs> Thick, girthy, massive dicks. If anything, your dick could have blown the raft back up again. <laughs> uh, so, do you, you, don't know, you don't know how it got punctured? We ran into the bank with a sharp stick pointing out of it. Oh, and, wow. And you then, ran uh, into the bank. Must be a Jewish girlfriend, huh? <laughs> Just kidding. Again, these racial stereotypes are not condoned by me. We're going to edit all these out at some point. Red Band always remembers to edit the things out. That uh, It's always funny when I say that, and then the people are just listening to it. Uh, so what else, Hans? You went camping. Did you get laid out? I feel like you like did this as a trick. Oh, I'm drowning. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and then the girl comes over, and you just start Butt fucking her, right? I'm like, am I close to right on this? It's a fair You're question. You are absolutely right. Perfect. <laughs> I uh, we had a, lo a lot of intercourse. The, the the camping trip was mainly intercourse. Wow. Oh. Yeah, wow. Why have the raft part? <laughs> <laughs> it's just to let her vagina rest. Is this the girlfriend that you've been? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this guy Hans is awesome, dude. He's amazing. <laughs> is this the same girlfriend you've been dating for a couple weeks now? Yeah, but she, after the trip, she didn't want to date me anymore for some What did she say exactly? What the fuck? 
She said I wasn't emotionally mature enough. <laughs> That's uh, for those of you that don't know, Hans is autistic. Uh, <laughs> it takes people a few months to realize Hans is autistic, but he really is. He's just a savant. You're good at uh, many things, right? Yes. You play any instruments? I play guitar. Are you serious? Yeah. Uh, really? Uh huh. I'm pretty good at it. Really? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Matt. Would you let? Whoa! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I've, been, I've spent so much time making hot chicks throw their tongue in Hans's mouth. I've never asked him if he actually knows how to do anything else. This is crazy. The kid can do everything. I'm more than just a pair of lips, Tony. <laughs> You're going to play us a little something? Sure. All right, here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what happens here. This is hot. Wait, should we guess if it's going to be good or not? Because I feel like it could go either way. <laughs> I mean, it could be a panty dropper, no, but it could I, be I'm a gonna disaster. I'm going to say autistic, you know. One note over and over again? <laughs> no. I, no, I was going to go the other way. Like, it's going to be Rain Man. Okay. You think good? I am almost positive this is going to be good. All but, right, uh, well, pressure. But at the same time, I could, like see him strumming that and being like, oh, it was a ukulele. I don't know how to yeah. play that guitar. I'll tell you, the fret looks like he's good. He's really got a good fret yeah, he's push. Good. He but does. Okay. He definitely has that first chord It's in chord the fret prepared. push. That's how you yeah, can tell. Really good <laughs> fret push. Small peanuts, good fret push. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, this Exciting. is Hans Kim. How many of you think it's going to be good? Yeah! How many of you think this is going to be bad? All right, a lot of haters upstairs. in the cheap seats I up say, there. Yeah. <laughs> it's 80 20. This is going to be like when Marty McFly invented oh, yeah. rock and roll <laughs> at the Enchantment of the Sea Dance. All right, here we go. Marty McFly. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Hans Kim. Before. Yeah. Look you in the eye. You felt like a feather in a beautiful world. You're dressed like an angel in a beautiful world. I wish I was special Yeah, so fucking special But I'm a creep All right, all right, all right, that's enough That's enough that Unbelievable That was very terrible. good I didn't know he was gonna do the whole goddamn song though. Yeah, Jesus I, Christ, I didn't huh? know I, I you get it. You could do it. I thought he was going to stop. Normally, I would cut a million other people off, but he looked like he was living his goddamn dreams on there. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I had to let him go a little bit longer. I love the boy. Yeah. Look at him. Look how happy he is. Thank you. You know how excited you have to be to grab the mic and the mic stand while it's in the mic stand at the same time? Let me tell you, as a performer, you guys might not know, but that's a level of excitement. <laughs> a lot of people said you were going to do good. A lot of people said you were going to do bad. Turns out they were all right. <laughs> you did very good and very bad at certain times there. <laughs> the, the guitar was spot on, and then the voice came in. and uh, yeah. It was kind of compelling. The bad. <laughs> yeah. It sounded like you were listening to a different song, perhaps, in your headphones. <laughs> A little bit of cold play there, right? Accurate lyrics. Uh, Is that what that was? I was going to win you back on the bridge. <laughs> really? <laughs> How does the bridge go? You were going to sing it? She oh. shut it out the door. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm gonna, this is what I'm going to see in my nightmares tonight, everybody. <laughs> it's just him standing at the end of my bed doing that. 
Wow, Hans, that's incredible. How do you feel right now? I feel energized and... So your girlfriend dumped you this week. <laughs> Let me just remind you now that we know that you're happy and energized. <laughs> Uh, so what do you think? Should you make out with somebody? You still want to do that? Yes. All right. Whoa. You know, let me just say, before we do the drum roll, let me just say, every single week, I ask if a beautiful woman wants to come up and kiss Hans Kim. I want to change things up a little bit this week. A little something, a little something for the podcast listeners that hate this there's part a- of the show. I'm going to ask if there's a girl out there mediocre looking. Uh... You don't even have to be good looking. If you feel like not so pretty today and like, you know, no you have an outbreak. <laughs> Wait, is this a good idea during a pandemic to pass around an Asian guy? Kurt, we're already 12 episodes into this. Uh, Can everybody get their own Asian guy? The bad news is that we've already done it. Wipe Hans down when you're done with him. <laughs> I've had COVID 17 times now. Sorry. Anyway, uh,. For an autistic guy, you think his numbers jokes would be better, but... uh, (laughs) Asian autistic. Hans, what do you think about me? (laughs) What do you think about me asking if a mediocre girl wants to make out with you? I think that's wonderful because they have, like, you know, they need it more. There you go. (laughs) Come on, are there any, uh, are there any half... Half, half good-looking girls, or do I have to ask for a beautiful... Is it only, like, a beautiful girl-only thing? Come on, sixes or lower, if anyone wants to come up and make out with Hans. If you think you're a six or lower... Oh, also, how could I forget this? You get one of these if you do it. An I Kiss Hans Kim official T-shirt. The Kill Tony logo on the back. Asian-style font, I believe it's called... Uh, I believe that's the uh, Pang Dang, style. Wing Dings, Pang Dangs. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, the good thing about kissing me is after you kiss me, you're still hungry for more. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I love it. A callback to something that didn't work the first time. I love it. Very rarely do you see that in comedy where people go back to it. Oh, can I also just say, I forgot to say, but during your rendition of Creep, I noticed a couple of, like, the tough guy fans in the audience. Uh, Crying. Like this I undercover cop at the edge here talking to Hulk Hogan's ex-wife. You see this guy? Uh, yeah. Not paying attention to the show at all. Still has no idea that I'm talking about him. Uh. But anyway, he was literally crying during your rendition of Creep. It was unbelievably hilarious. Hopefully he listens to this podcast in a couple weeks when it comes out and hears everything that I just said about him. Uh, He's literally still, still just talking. He looks like a serial He's killer. Filling like out a, a bill or something murderer like just that. sitting there. He's trying to put together the... <laughs> He's got his Kill Tony uh, bingo card out. Well, he's on to us. All right. Is anyone making out with Hans? I don't think it's happening this How many week. single women well, are here? Because maybe You didn't put it out very well. <laughs> not... I don't think I deserve it this week. There... Hans, here you go. Take a shirt, dude. Thank you. Ironically, the first week that you don't have a girlfriend, no one wants to come out and make out with you. Uh, Maybe uh, open it up to beautiful women. I don't know. I just feel bad for Hans right now. I mean, you shouldn't feel bad. You should watch the last 10 episodes. Yeah, it's it. right. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Hans, an unbelievable performance. A great oh. song tonight. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Whoa! Oh, Wait a minute. Wait a second. <laughs> hold on just a minute. Wait a second. Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold this on. Is hold, on that hold on, hold on. Everybody stop. Wait a second. He said a six or lower. Wait, Hans, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't this the girl that dumped you? Oh. Yes. Wow. Uh, oh, what a hero. Come up to the microphone us. for a second. What's your name? This is Raph Girl. Paige. Paige. Okay. Uh, And you were dating Hans Kim for how long, would you say? Uh, Like a month. Wow. (laughs) Like, what were some of the highlights of dating Hans? Like, when you look back and you have, like, flashbacks to a... what? Getting fingered at Whataburger. uh. All right. (laughs) Great, man. (laughs) 
Grid, man. That's the first one that comes up. What's that? What? That's the first one that comes up. All right. What? What else? Um, the weird ass strip club we went to, uh, oh. where he did not grope strippers, by the way. Um, <laughs> river explorations multiple times. Uh, Jeez, I see why Hans isn't that sad that you dumped him. Uh, Playing Catan. It's about as boring as it gets over here. Now, what made you? Uh, what made you finally put the kibosh on fucking Hans this week? Uh, I just had a divorce finalized, and I don't want to date if I, it's not. What? What about going finalized? Somewhere. You just had a what? A divorce finalized. Oh shit. Look at that. Hans oh. is the fucking, uh, what do they call that? The, uh, the rebound. Oh, wow. Kill uh, Tony. The, the rare Asian yeah. rebound. <laughs> <laughs> Not since, like, what, Jeremy Lin or something have we seen. Are we on an army base or something? <laughs> on a very special Kill Tony. The divorced woman. A divorce oh, it's a so Hans was your rebound. So all of a sudden you go from this happy marriage. Next thing you know, you're getting banged in the back of a van by an Asian guy. <laughs> Cops are knocking on the window. Uh, so what do you think? Is you think there's still a chance for Hans? You're gonna at least bang him every once in a while? Are you gonna be a good uh, friend with benefits, or is it just your emotions? I broke it off a week ago. He still came to San Antonio with his friends, and uh, may or may not have. Got some while we were there. I did. <laughs> hey, Hans. Hell yeah. So yeah, I guess, I guess what I'm really asking, what made you come here tonight? You still... Uh, we're still friends. We're friends. We have fun. It sounds like codependency okay. is what made us. All right. Friends. Yeah, it does. Sounds He's like... got divorced, can't be alone for five minutes. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Once you, once you, once Here's you get... where the relationship's going. Down a river into a sharp stick. <laughs> <laughs> Looked pretty hot though that kiss. Right? It, it was. Passionate. It was. Hans oh. is famously a good kisser. Everybody says that it's incredible. They... <laughs> He's got a very special tongue. Is that true? Is he? Does he ever? Has he ever performed oral sex on you? Wow. It, does he do anything different that? Uh... How does he do it? If you had to describe the way Hans... Legitimately the best person that's done it. Wow, look at I, that. Yeah. That's incredible. That's incredible. Let me ask you this. Are you hungry for more tongue when you're after you have it once? When he eats your pussy, does he use chopsticks? Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> does he ever try to put it in one of those boxes with the metal wire oh, at the top? Oh, come on. <laughs> I want to take it home with me. No, but I did think the soy sauce was weird. Oh, you son oh. of a bitch. I haven't heard jokes like that since I had to go up after a uh, man named Pang Dang, everybody. <laughs> I was repeating his punchline. Is Hans punch the whole show, by that. the way? What? Is Hans the whole thing? Like, the whole time we talk about Hans? Yeah, no. No, this it's is like just a, a ridiculously long segment. This show's we love Hans. a lot of Hans. You're I'm actually saying. right. I'm going to get him out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, Hans Kim <laughs> and his ex-girlfriend, Paige. <laughs> Hey, uh, I like women. I think they're very hot. And I mean sexually, not like any other way, but I mean sexually. Um, I don't think I could ever fuck a dude. I've never looked at a beautiful woman and been like, wow, is there a version of her that's bigger and hairier and has less kindness? I want to put that in my butthole. Straight as fuck. Please believe me, my dad doesn't. <laughs> I'm glad women give birth. I feel like if men gave birth, we'd be like, bro, I've been eating so much protein and creatine during my pregnancy. This baby's like 27 pounds already, bro. It's all about those gains of the first trimester. Check out his biceps and the ultrasound. Um, I feel bad for people in relationships because they have to carry their mistakes around with them. I have a cum rag too. I don't make you memorize its name. Thank you. Hans Kim. Wow. Another new minute from Hans Kim. Is that true? Does your dad really think you don't get laid? He doesn't respect me, which I just translate to mean 
that he thinks I'm gay, so it, it helps me, it motivates me to work harder. <laughs> Do you ever try to prove to him in any way that you got laid? Do you ever, like, send pictures or anything? <laughs> I think he knows by now. Um, I, I sent him an episode of Kill Tony where I didn't kiss anyone because I didn't... I felt like that was too intimate. I don't want him to think about me fucking. Wow. And he just took that and only listened or watched that one? He didn't do any digging after that? Uh, he's a mathematician, so he pro he's a nerd. No so. way. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What does your mom do for work? She works also at a, a mathematician. <laughs> <laughs> she teaches kids math in school. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. <laughs> we have him. This is the real Asian superhero, Hans Kim. We have him here on this show. Hans, uh, what else is going on, on in life? What's been happening this week with you? Uh, I broke up with my date. I uh, went to San Antonio. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean you broke up with your date? We got into a fight and uh, it got ugly and like we just stopped talking. But then today we FaceTime, so what, it was uh, good. What kind of fight? It was like... Kung Fu? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Karate. Uh, there's three of you up here. Uh, <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I've been hanging out with Hans this week. He has a new DMT pen that he keeps uh, hitting continuously. Hans, tell the people about your DMT pen. My DMT pen has a white tip. Um, <laughs> You hit it and you hold it in, and then you hold it in until you start feeling like, ah. And that's when it starts. Wow. And that's the creepiest thing I've ever seen you do, is that <laughs> moment. I've never even seen you give off a creepy vibe before. That's the sound right of then. him coming, also, it seems like. <laughs> well. well, what else, Hans? What else is going on? Uh, Anything else exciting? You've been wait, making well, out with. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Are you, are you, you're just ripping DMT? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> yeah, he's doing it a lot. Hans is like a Hans is a real rock star. He's really taken this status of his on this show. And uh, he's always like at these pool parties in the hills, like every night. I follow. <laughs> How do you do it, Hans? What's your secret to keeping such a lively nightlife and uh, doing all these drugs? He basically does anything anybody offers to him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that uh, doesn't make people want to kiss me, but it's true. I, uh, I do everything and anything, but I, uh, <laughs> I, I guess the secret is to like, have like, a lot of unemployment money saved up and then just... <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, we love unemployment money here on Kill Tony. It keeps our uh, fan base alive. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. What else, Hans? You broke up with your date. You been with any other girls this week? No, I, uh, I haven't. I wrote with a female comedian, Holly Johnston, today, but it wasn't like that. <laughs> wow, you dropped her name and everything like that. <laughs> Jeez Louise. She was on here. I, uh, yeah, she's a yeah. good friend. And, uh, you wrote with a... F we wrote, you, what are you doing? We wrote comedy together. Is that what your motive was? <laughs> <laughs> was that your motive? Were you like, it's time for me to find the best comedic mind I can? Yeah. I know. A lady. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing else behind that? There was definitely... There a, was no secret motive? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we went to the party last night. We went to a pool party, and um, I did ketamine. And wow. How did that make you feel? Tell us what ketamine's like. Be descriptive. Use a word other than ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two ahs up. Um, a ketamine was like cocaine, like what you think cocaine would be. It was like a fun version of cocaine, like cocaine for kids. So, <laughs> how often, how, how often do you do regular cocaine? <laughs> Probably three times a month. <laughs> three That's times pretty good. a month. Hell yeah. <laughs> And what it's happens? Ki it's, it's killing a lot of good comedians in LA, but Hans is still here, so that's good. Oh, <laughs> no, that's not true. 
Got Asian's that oil money here, baby. <laughs> I've never heard of an Asian overdosing on drugs. Does that even happen? <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, yikes. I didn't realize that positive stereotypes are unacceptable as well. Comic Jeez, those cause... people don't get to, they don't go overdose very often. Boo! <laughs> Asian cocaine is just Adderall. Is that it? Yeah. Wow. Performance enhancing drugs. <laughs> All right, Hans. Are you, do you even want to make out with anyone this week? Kind of. <laughs> Is there anyone in the audience? If, if, a, if, a, if a normal girl comes up here, you get a I kissed Hans Kim uh, t shirt, the Kill Tony logo on the upper back. Incredible stuff. Uh, so now I must ask, is there a lady out there that wants to come up and uh, make out with Hans Kim real quick? If you want to, you can. You get a shirt. Hans Kim, li- Hans Kim likes making out with girls, so I let him live his dreams every week. For a while there, we had uh, too many strippers coming down. Uh, and then I found out on the show that uh, they get free, what was it? They, have to, they-, they don't have to pay their house fees. Usually strippers have to pay 10% to the club. <laughs> but it turns out if you make out with Hans Kim, you don't have to give 10% to the <laughs> strip club that you work at. These lips are worth money. Come on, there must be some lady out there that wants to come up and give Hans Kim a big kiss. Is there a, a hero out there in the audience tonight? Everybody loves this segment of the show. All right. Who Man. among you is dumb enough to have this on the internet forever? <laughs> <laughs> well, Hans, I don't know, dude. Man, this this <laughs> has to hurt a little bit, dude. <laughs> yeah. like, Hans, <laughs> how, how do you how do, how do you feel knowing that your run of making out with random chicks every Monday is coming to an end right now? Uh, I'm kind of relieved. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> what is this? Whoa! Wow! Holy shit! Hey! Look at that! <laughs> wow, and he hands her the mic right away, straight to second base with this one. Look at that! <laughs> wow! Okay, I didn't know Oompa Loompas had nurses, but this is so exciting. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You're an American hero. You came up and made out with Hans. What's, what's your name? Bella. Bella. Here. Bella, when did your dad die? <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of daddy issue jokes. I just wanted a 60-second set. <laughs> I thought you said no strippers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bella, um, uh, have you ever made out with an Asian man before? I actually honestly haven't. How did that feel? How did it feel? Uh, is there anything different? or? Uh, I felt like I'm going to have to see him like three times a week for the next. <laughs> like, that's a lot. We do comedy together, so I was like, why not? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, give the microphone back to Hans. <laughs> now that I know you're a comedian, let's give it back to, uh, <laughs> let's give it back to old little Hansy over here. Uh, Hans, you, so you've been working with her for weeks, months? Months. And uh, you guys see each other regularly. How, yeah. how did it make you feel making out with her? It was hotter. <laughs> hotter, than, hotter than what? Like there's something on the line. Like <laughs> this could go wrong. This could go bad. <laughs> yeah, you might end up in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> you got that nine month law now in Texas also. You need to like really think about what the fuck are you talking about? The abortion law. Oh, okay. <laughs> Six what are you months. guys talking about? What are you guys having your own little side conversation there like, about? Why am I always making out with guys on this show the second time? Oh, really? You've yeah. done this before. I get bored in the cow pen, so I'm just like, you know. Wow. <laughs> Did they call it a cow pen? Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I always heard, I thought I heard bullpen before. I didn't know a cow pen was a thing that might be that might be a Texas thing too. Yeah, it's gender inclusive. All right, yeah. I like it. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you, Bella. Thank you, Hans. Let's keep the show moving. Oh, you guys making? All right, Hans. Hans. <laughs> he didn't know what to do with his Hans. Everybody, one more time for Hans Kim. What's up, guys? 
I think it's funny that people in my generation are such narcissists that if they're not a seven or above, they'll chop their dick off and change their gender. <laughs> Just be a four and learn how to play chess. Stop playing with your genitals. Invent something. Okay. Um, abortion is sort of legal in Texas, which I think is the wrong way to do it. Because if you only make abortion for people who have money and know how to plan, you're only going to abort the best babies. <laughs> you got to get them all. Brrr. Can't just let the weeds grow. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Wow, another, he just does it every time. Not easy to do a brand new minute every week. Not easy to always get the show started with a bang, but somehow you do it. Thank you so much. That was a risky one, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> wow, how cool. What's been going on, Hans? What have you been up to? That was fucking fantastic. I just sh shot a short film in San Diego. Uh, this guy flew me out there to do like two lines. Wow. What so. is it, the sequel to Shang-Chi? <laughs> is that the name of the movie? Am I allowed to make that joke anymore? No? Oh, okay. No, I'm not. Okay, go back. Back to you, Hans. The Yellow Panda. Um, I don't know what that means. And that was Hans, not me that <laughs> said it. Uh, I, uh, I got drunk. I uh, partied with the local comics. Uh, I shot a little sketch with them. Uh, I didn't get laid, but you know, it's fine. Saw a video on Instagram of you shooting a cockroach off a wall last week. What type of places are you hanging out at where you're <laughs> shooting salt bullets at cockroaches? Uh, Texas, Austin, Texas, baby. We grow them big here. <laughs> Yeehaw. I'm not from here. Uh, <laughs> I'm from Seattle. So. <laughs> Dom, odd. this is your first time seeing the great Hans Kim. Uh, he's a new regular here. He's killed every single week that he's been on the show. What do you think about this young man? I think he's got a long way to go, really. <laughs> <laughs> I like his earlier stuff better. He seems to have gotten bitter. <laughs> Good job, man. Thank yeah. you. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. Incredible stuff. Uh, Hans, how's your love life going? What's going? Everyone wants to know, has Hans been getting his dick wet? <laughs> the world wants to know. I'm back with Paige again. And oh, this girl that you keep, <laughs> you keep going on. <laughs> yeah. You keep going on and off with this girl, Paige. In yeah. Be in between wild adventures. Yeah, she's uh, not sure about me. She, I, I, I think that I'm not emotionally mature enough for her. She was actually mad at uh, you because you called her a six earlier on yeah. the show. Yeah, I did. I called her a six one of those episodes, but it motivated her. I called her a six, and then she came down and made out with strippers and tried to prove that she wasn't a six. If I would have called her an eight, she probably would have stayed in the balcony the whole time. <laughs> like a real That's lazy the first white night we had sex. So. Wow, there you go. That's what I... God damn it, if I have to call, call a girl a six for my boy to get laid, <laughs> then god damn it, all I see is six is out here. It's, uh, it's my new pickup line I, uh, I use on girls on, at bars. Just kidding. <laughs> I love it. So you and Paige have sex. You guys, now that you guys are back together, as you say, that's what's happening. You guys, yes. And you use like a condom. What, what, what are some fun facts about Hans during sex? <laughs> we use condoms. Um... We use a lot of lube. We don't lube shame. Lube is oh wow. Lube is used freely. Wow, hell yeah. Uh, so you're so you're not really getting your dick wet at all. <laughs> really just lubing it up. I guess it's a, if it's water based, then perhaps I guess you are. Are are you just uh, too big for her, or she's just not getting wet with you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he, I don't think I don't think he wants to admit the truth on this one. Uh. <laughs> well, I think it's like if we turn the fan on, then her pussy gets dry faster. Um. <laughs> These variables. Close the window. I want to make love. <laughs> 
Maybe the fact that we're always fucking in a van doesn't help either. Right. Right. Fucking in a van dries it out quick. That's the way to do it. It's like putting a phone in a bowl of rice. That's what it is. You put a, <laughs> you put a pussy in a van. Woof. I hope to bring it back from the dead. You know, you can just hope for the best. What else, Hans? What else is going on in your wacky world, huh? Um, I, uh, I did shows, you know, been getting booked, just hitting the mics hard. Madhouse in San Diego I was in. Um, I did a little pool gathering. I messaged people who are Kill Tony fans, and I met two Kill Tony fans in San Diego. Uh, we found out last week, Dom, that uh, Hans is a virtuoso on the electric guitar. However, he uh, really sings like a fucking train wreck. Uh, <laughs> Hans, will you give us another? Can you guys play? Uh, what, what, what do you know how to sing? Maybe the band will play you something. Let, you guys have um, to hear how horrible he sings. <laughs> it's incredible. I, uh, I'm pretty good at, uh, you know, Wonderwall. Uh, here, how many of you want to hear some Wonderwall right now? <laughs> Welcome to Tony's Wacky Karaoke Bar. Uh, singing first tonight, it's Hans Kim. Go right into it, Hans. They'll catch up to you. Oh, the whole intro. I always thought this song was a slow burn. <laughs> Someday you're gonna be dying on the bed of my body for you. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I regret, I regret even doing it. Clearly you've been practicing. <laughs> so much better. Guys, you got the show started for us. How about a hand for Hans Kim, everybody? Hey Let's keep it moving along. What's up, guys? Um, I live in a van so that I can pursue comedy full time. So if you didn't think I was funny, I'm sorry. I'm trying really hard. I know there's some person in the back like, yeah, this guy's funny, but not living your van funny. Could have ruined that joke in an apartment, buddy. It's, uh, it's hard to date in a van ever since Gabby Petito went and got herself killed. <laughs> it's hard to convince a girl to go out with you when you have all the tools to kill her and get away with it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's hard to jerk off in the van as well because whenever I lock my doors, my hazards flash. So... If you ever see my hazards flash, just know I'm jerking it in there. <laughs> People act weird about me jerking off in a van, but it's even weirder if you're in a van and you don't jerk off. <laughs> it's a lot of tension. It's day 497 of me not touching myself, you know. All right, that's my time. Thank you, guys. Hell yeah, Hans Kim. Talking about living in a van. A whole new minute about living in a van. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. I, uh, I got a generator recently. Yeah. And my roof is leaking. Um, you know, How but you I did have sex in it today. Whoa, that's hard to do. That's hard to do. Not easy. Last week I told you uh, that it dries up pussies like uh, putting your phone in a bowl of rice. <laughs> I stand by that. Uh, so how did you, was it with your normal girlfriend today? Yes, with right. Paige. For those of you that don't know the story, Hans has been swimming in pussy since becoming a regular here on Kill Tony. <laughs> He's made out with, I don't know, 20 some strangers and strippers and, uh, but now you decided to go steady. Yeah, Paige is a great person for me. She, uh, knows how to talk to autistic people. So. Does she tell you to say her first name like that when you're yeah, that on weird. the show? Like, instead <laughs> of just saying, yeah, she, because, like, I said your girlfriend, but then you said, yeah, Paige, you know, she. Like, why do you say her name like that? She's a big part of my life, and. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, you already got laid today, dude. You're tr still trying, huh? What's going on with that, though? Every week, it's you, you're either br she breaks up with you or you're back together. What happened here? What's going on? Yeah, I don't think she's fully convinced about me yet. Uh, I need to, I need to have sex with her more and convince her. Yeah. Can we go back to the, can we go back to the strippers? <laughs> Which strip club? Yellow Rose? Yeah. Yes. They, Yellow uh, Rose usually sit Rose. up there and come kiss me. Uh, <laughs> I mean, obviously it's Yellow Rose. It's not Red Rose. You know what I mean? That's an Asian joke. It just landed. No, no, no. It's both. They both. I was that. trying to do There's a whole two strip clubs, clubs there, the Yellow Rose and the. But because he's Asian, I was doing the yellow thing. Oh and, you know, right, and right, whole... right. Yeah, he's I that. I thought I could. I, 
Okay, I, first of all, okay, first of all, I'm trying to get... Listen, he just told me backstage, get canceled, you'll get famous. I'm trying to do the same thing. <laughs> Not tonight. I didn't mean tonight, Moses. When but, I told you but, to get yourself canceled, I didn't mean on the show immediately. <laughs> That's why hey, I'm here. Giving you uh, real older brotherly advice. <laughs> this, is a um, much, this is a much cooler Asian than that, that, that you fucked up. I mean, you are, I got to say, you yeah. are extra Asian today since um, he brought it up. You got a new haircut. Is that fucking North Korean leader shit? Like, what do you, <laughs> what do you ask for? Turn to the side so these people can see. I mean, look at that. That guy just went from a fucking... <laughs> he had a four on his clippers, and he's like, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. I'm with Moses, man. I don't think it's fair. I saw him use the same jokes to beat Ralphie May on Last Comic Stand in the first season. <laughs> oh, oh, dad That's fan. a dad fan joke. We're trying to get canceled. What? what? You fucked that stripper in that van? Uh, she's not a stripper. I just fucked a stripper in the broom closet upstairs. <laughs> hey, yeah, dude. I'm telling oh. you. Oh. I was like, what that little girl in the back of the van say when you took her room? Like, all right. I'm all telling right. you. And, and I, I, you know, I normally wouldn't talk about comedians' private lives, but I will tell you guys that uh, my friends here, Jamar and Moses, they do, you might be wondering, and yes, they do fuck. And uh, they have sex with women, but I'm telling you guys, one of the biggest pimps I know right now is Hans Kim. <laughs> Hans, tell us Hello. more about your. Uh, tell us more about you. Tell them about your recent escapades. I found a new way to cuddle, yeah. um, because you know I'm a skinny guy. My arm isn't that beefy, and it's like my arm goes to sleep whenever she lays on it. So I started doing back to back, and like our butts are touching. Like five year olds. Yeah. Wow. What is that? What do you? All right. <laughs> Some weird you, double dragon shit. You bro. guys sleep in the van together? Yes. Wow. Why We're, don't you go to her house? She has a house, right? No, actually, Paige is homeless. <laughs> is that true? Is that yeah. true? Wow. She's living with her friend right now. Oh, um, okay. What she look like? She looks like a white woman who's half Asian. But is she here? Yes. Hey, Paige, why don't you come up to the stage? Make yourself <laughs> useful for a change. Why don't we get Hans Kim's... Gr She's been on this show before. Hans famously... Uh, She's with some dude in the bathroom right now. Yeah. Uh. She's some... <laughs> She's, she's getting an upgrade. She has a guy with a studio apartment railing her right now. Uh, no, it doesn't matter. What else is exciting? Anything else, Hans? Um, I, uh, I, I did oh, a this is her? battle. Oh, shit. Look oh, at this. shit. Not bad for a homeless girl, right? Wait, 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 wait. Didn't how? Yeah. I'm, that's what I'm telling you guys. Nigga, Hans how are you homeless? And she got a broke finger, too. Hell, yeah. She I hurt was, her Hans. I was living. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so stupid. Don't laugh at that. Stop it. You guys stop it up there. How'd you hurt your hand? She was uh, in Squid Game. I was trying to catch. Yeah. A, I was trying to catch a football on a boat. I collided with the football and my friend. Wow. And it just boom, boom, boom. Oh. Wow. Three of them got fractured. What kind of boat for a chick that doesn't have a home? I mean, you really get out there, huh? You have quite the social life. Uh, for a do I'm from the north side of San Antonio, so I'm not. What about like, San Antonio? A homelessy homeless person. What? Ooh. North side of San Antonio. She's, she's white homeless. Oh. <laughs> homeful, that's called. Very homeful she is. She's got a whole territory. <laughs> I'm from the north side of San Antonio. Not that bullshit south side. Paige, what ethnicity are you? Your eyes seem sort of kind of maybe Asian. I am not Asian. Zero percent oh, Asian. Oh, okay. Hans! <laughs> Why'd you, you laugh? Laugh? Yeah. What are People you? People think I am. It's are you anything special. special or just like Scottish I'm Irish? I'm 55% Scandinavian, so I'm Viking. Wow. Okay. Hans, what do you think about that? I love fucking the purest white people possible. <laughs> oh, my 
my God, I love Hold it. Hold up, I want some stripper credit too because I made out with two of them, so. There you go, absolutely. She made out with, I mean, look at that fucking finger brace over there. What a dork. That's like the world's most embarrassing engagement ring. <laughs> show everybody, don't cover it up. Welcome to show business, lady. There you go. Oh, oh well, there you go. She doesn't even need it, everybody. Uh, <laughs> stupidest thing ever to wear a finger brace and not need it. <laughs> you guys are unbelievable. I'd love to be a fly on the van wall in this relationship. <laughs> All right, Hans, you did it again. Another killer minute. Uh, fun times. We used to have you make out with girls, but now you have a girlfriend. I don't know. Seems weird. Yeah, you really fucked up, Hans. Yeah, you really blew it, Hans. Way to settle down. Find yourself a good little fucking homeless girl. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no,